Hello everyone, my name is Udita Kuntia and I am from class 3 Stuart School Women Issue and today I am going to tell you a very very beautiful story and that story name is, can you guess it? That story name is The Magic Snowbird. So this is a beautiful story written by Annette Blyton. So in the story, in this story, there are two children. One name is John and uh, their two, uh, brother and sister. So there were two, uh, two children, one is brother and another is sister. So the brother's name is John and the sister's name is Molly. So John and Molly, one day, uh, every day, every year on Christmas, they were they had gone to many parties and they had even thrown parties by themselves too uh, and that, uh, themselves uh, i mean that they too uh, gave parties to everyone on christmas some christmas sometimes they give parties to other people on christmas and sometimes they go to other people's party so this year john and molly we got a very very sad news what was it it was that no christmas parties today and what it was no christmas parties this christmas it had it in. then john and molly looked oh what is this i don't understand then after that the mother told that they their, their little uh, their john and molly so john and molly had once more one more little sister so then the mother said that oh your little sister the baby has got chicken pox and it can uh, and the disease can spread if you give if you go to spa parties then you can to get some uh, you can to get the disease so no parties this christmas no parties now john was very sad he began thinking what shall we do this christmas and molly had started a little bit of crying so the, these two children saw that this that evening snow was falling so they thought that oh after tea after before tea we should go and play some the and play with the snow make some snowman snow hut big enough for us a snow hut and uh, a magic snowbird no no it can't happen how can we make such a big bird hmm we must still think of something then they uh, then they went to after before tea before they had that tea in the evening they went and Played in the snow, not the sand, it's the snow, the white colored snow. Then they went and then what happened, do you know? They made a big snowman, then they made a snow hut, but it was not really big enough. But still they were happy that they made it. They had just tried and it was successful for them because they had made just a uh, snow hut. Uh, big enough for their toys to live in and then then Molly said to John John listen uh, today we in school today in school we may how we may easily made a bird from the clay in the school from clay in school I think I'm thinking that we can also make this in the snow a magic snow bird not a magic how can we store a snowbird be magical? Let's make only a snowbird and that will be great. Then they went, John and Molly began really making a very beautiful snowbird. And then after they were finished, they called their parents and both the parents saw the snowman, the snow heart and the snowbird. So then suddenly a kingfisher fly flew over the magic snow bird and a feather of his and the feather of the kingfisher fell down and it got stuck on the snowbird's and the snowbird's head. 
So now Snowbird had a bad feel. It didn't look really nice. The John and Molly, uh, then John and Molly told to their mother that mother, this feather is not looking really great. Shall we take it out? Then the mother said, no, 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 don't take it out. These uh, kingfisher's feathers are called lucky. So we must keep it and see what happens next. So the next day, so the next day they came for uh, what they came for tea. Uh, then that evening they came, they went for tea. And then when they slept, John and Molly had a dream. The John, John, sorry, I told you John. Molly had a dream that yes, it's the snowbird. And she was she was dreaming that the snowbird was alive. The next day they went to play and found the snowbird alive. This a what more could Molly ask for? She was really very happy. Now she had the, she was the happy, very happy. And she didn't want to lose this happy moment. So the so she told her brother John that John let us see if the magic snowbird can fly and we can too sit on it and fly and see all the world. See where does the snowbird goes and we can see the whole world like this. Where the snowbirds go, where the snowbird uh, snowbird will go, we shall see that place and that will be really great. She said. And then, what happened, do you know? The snowbird said, Okay, children, uh, just come to my bag and you may find my bag a little bit cold. So bring two cushions and sit on it. And the snowbird did sound magical and he sounded like he was singing. So then the snowbird once again said, Dear children, come back and sit on my back. Come and sit on my back. And I will take you where I shall go. Into the land of Santa Claus. And you can there see many things that are going to be sent for the Christmas. Made by the goblins and many other creatures of the Christmas. Then... Then the two children went in, they brought a big cushion, sat on it, and the snowbird flew. Then the snowbird, when the snowbird went, flew up, then they, they saw that they went into the North Pole, uh, the North Pole, and there was Santa Claus standing. And the children were, didn't believe their eyes. What were they seeing? Santa Claus! And then they saw many goblins and elves many other things creatures that are in the christmas tales they were making toys they were making horses uh toy horses wooden horses wooden horses and uh, and what we call that uh, some christmas trees some were growing christmas trees with a magic like this year it was a christmas tree and with some magic they shall make the christmas tree big so they, then they, they saw and there were Christmas trees and dolls, many toys, dolls, horses, Christmas trees and gifts, many things, etc. And then more John and Molly saw a big beautiful Christmas tree. They asked the snowbird, oh what is this snowbird? And so much said, oh this is the Christmas tree. It grows with presents. When it will grow, it will grow with present. No one stucks present to it. No one hangs present in it. It just grows present. It The present grows itself. So they were very happy to see. But this, they wanted to keep some things so that they could tell their parents that this snow world was magical. Then suddenly the snowbird's feather flew away. How will they go back? Then John and Molly found in an instant they were at home. But still in Molly's hand there was the Christmas ball. And that they told themselves, oh, this is not a dream. It's real. We must tell our parents. Mo John said to Molly. And Molly said, agreed. And they went to their parents. The parents didn't believe this. Who would believe this kind of story? Not I. Not you, not everyone, no one will believe this story. But the one who has seen, we shall believe it about it. The one has seen about this magical thing, they shall believe it. 
and then what happened that there nothing happened and their mother and father didn't believe this story and but still they saw that the snowball was lying now it was not in a standing position like it was before and now it was just like this it, its legs apart from its body and everything was not really nice some uh, half of its body was torn and the snow had uh, not and the snow was now not as it was before the snow world was not now anymore and the children were a little disappointed but Molly the next year plan this year planted the uh, Christmas uh, seed and found the next and I didn't know what happened next and you'd like to see Molly's Christmas tree isn't it if yes then just go into the story meet a snowbird make a snowbird a snowbird and then go see the north pole meet santa claus and see molly's new christmas tree okay so that is the story of the magical snowbird thank you have a nice day